the show a little more sensitive, so I thought I'd talk about romance. I know some of you guys are starting to squirm, thinking, uh-oh, where are we going with this? Well, don't worry. I've come up with a project that will not only put zing in your love life, it'll hone your fishing skills all at the same time. We're going to make a backyard swing. Huh? Nothing says romance like a backyard swing for two. Well, at least nothing on my show. Okay, first thing you need is a backseat out of a 71 Ford Maverick. That should bring back a few romantic memories right there. All right, now to that, you just add a hunk of chain and a little handyman ingenuity. Hey. Okay, first of all, you want to hang the seat from something solid. Hang that high tension wire up there. Yeah, that'd work good. And just uh, horse the chain up there. Now, maybe I don't need that much zing in my love life. <laughs> Now, the beauty of this wing is we're not going to have to push it back and forth. We're going to be up there sitting pretty, away from any of the landmines the dog might have left. <laughs> Speaking of the dog, we're going to need some way to power this unit. So what we're going to do is, I've already hooked the bungee cord up to the bottom of the seat. Now I hook the other end to something firmly in the ground like this stick. All right, because we want the thing to go to and fro, right? We've taken care of the fro. Now we've got to set up the two. All right, now to move the swing forward, we need a source of smooth forward power. And for that, we need another piece of rope and a pulley of some kind. Now, if you're lucky, you already have the rear end of an old car sticking out of your lawn somewhere. That's a sign of a true handyman. Nothing says creativity like a lawn full of rusty car parts. Unfortunately, it also says shaky marriage. You see how this works? No matter which way the rope is pulled, eh? The swing moves forward smoothly. Now all we need to do is to add the power. I'm not talking horsepower. I'm talking dog power. Size of the dog is up to you. But Bernice and I, I figure we need about 200 pounds of Rottweiler because I plan to do a fair bit of swinging. Easy, boy. Easy. 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 Let go of Daddy's leg. Let go. Let go. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. There. Right now. I'm going to demonstrate how the whole thing works. I'm going to stop foaming for a minute. Oh, now we're all set for many a romantic evening with your wife, your dog, while you practice your casting for trout season. <laughs> what could be more romantic than that? So remember, if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. Of course, the trick is to snap the steak away from the dog before he gets it locked in his teeth. No, let go. Let go, Goliath. Let go. Easy boy, easy, let her go, let her go. You know, other than about a week in October, I basically did nothing last year, and I, and I was fine with that. But even though I was doing nothing, my mind was still thinking about stuff. Stuff that I hadn't done and should have. Stuff that I had done and shouldn't have. But mainly it was coming up with a lot more evidence that, as far as I'm concerned, proves that I'm right and almost everybody else is wrong. And that was fine too, but where I made my mistake uh, was that I shared all that with my friends and especially my wife. And before you knew it, they were suggesting that I gather up all those opinions and stories and uh, take them on the road where they belong. I even went, uh, went to see my doctor to make sure I was healthy enough to tour again and he gave me the go ahead. He said I probably wouldn't get sick on the road, but even if I did, he'd prefer I was thousands of miles away when it happened. So I put together a brand new show and I'm calling it uh, I'm Not Old, I'm Ripe. And we're going to be doing 20, about 25 cities, starting in St. Pete's, Florida on March the 30th and we're going to end up in the middle of May somewhere out west. Uh, it's basically a, a lodge meeting and if you want to find out where I'm going to be and when I'm going to be there, go to redgreen.com, click on the city that's nearest to you. I'm hoping you can all make it or I'm hoping a few of you can make it. I think it's going to be uh, my best show yet, and if you saw the first two, you know that's certainly doable. So uh, looking forward to a successful tour, otherwise my friends and my wife are going to look like idiots. Uh, until then, uh, I hope, I'm hoping to see you uh, at the Lodge meeting, and uh, in meanwhile, keep your stick on the ice. <laughs>